What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Merry Christmas to everyone. It is Christmas week here. We have some crazy extreme cold temperatures on the way. So I'm out this week for one last rip before this guy back behind us freezes over because it is guaranteed to freeze over with the temperatures we're expecting. Definitely sucks for me having to reschedule, you know, like anywhere between seven and 10 trips here, just kind of depending on what the uh, weather decides to do. Thankfully, the Arctic blast is not gonna last more than three or four days, but then after that, temperatures will come back up but it's still gonna be frozen for a bit. So all that was to say, we've got cold temperatures, the water temps now have dropped down to like 34, 35 degrees, which means we're in full winter pattern for the crappies. It's a little bit breezier than I expected today, but the area that I plan to fish is gonna be nice and protected out of the wind. So hope you guys are looking forward to some cool live scope footage, that is the goal. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get the boat dropped in and I will see you guys at the first spot. All right, we are out on the spot. Definitely a lot breezier than I thought it was gonna be today, but like I said, where we're at, we're kind of tucked out of it just a little bit, just enough breeze to keep the trolling motor spot locked and not out of its mind when we actually need it to. Get the sea light down, get it locked in here and straightened out. Get it going here and just kind of see what we're working with oh look at that we landed right on a big tree with a bunch of fish on it look at that guy wow those look like really nice ones so i am going to get the live scope screen recording here we've got a couple fresh new rigs here the fox river 66 medium light no i'm not one of those guys that uses long rods i will when i have to and they're in the boat but not my favorite so i'll just kind of figure out what they want here i think we'll roll with one swing them in flapper want it kind of like that beaver style bait there and then one baby battle shad we'll just let the fish tell us what they want we'll go with the smaller guy on the top there white and chartreuse that one was good the other day so i'll just kind of start with what's been working <clears throat> smaller little sneaky profile with the baby battle shed and then a little bit bigger beefier profile with the beaver tail here the flapper but if you guys like these plastics and you'll see today that they do work go to the link in the description use my discount code support small business swing them in baits my buddy jeremy right here in lawrence kansas about as good as it gets right there. So we're rolling that, like I said, on the 6.6 medium light Fox River Rod, 1000 size PC Fun Carbon X2. You guys can save almost 20% with my discount code for one of these cute little guys. And that is the program. So like I said, we're sitting on the very first tree on a very long stretch of river channel that we're gonna run. And I mean, if it's good, we've got 34 degree water temps, if it's good. I don't think this video is gonna take us too long. So let's get that screen recording and make the first drop. All right, we are rolling. You guys can see that tree clear as day. We're just gonna get right over the top of them here, kind of see how the baits fall, which look perfect. Man, it is just in there. Here comes our first candidate. Oh. Got him. Well, that didn't take long. Perfect keeper right there. I have plenty of fish in the freezer. I am not gonna be keeping crappies today, but we'll call that keeper number one on the first drop, taking a big old dump. Just a nice 11 and a half incher, probably. Back down he goes. Pretty fair assessment that I think it's gonna be pretty good today. I'm pretty sure these fish probably know what's coming as far as the weather is concerned and should be feeding nicely. That very first one though, I mean, here comes another one, bite it. Oh, he missed it and he got spooked. But yeah, I was gonna say that first one definitely did not hammer that one, that one did though. around 
off your tree there he comes and i got him yep little guy a lot of fish to weed through over here so we're gonna be bouncing around a little bit sooner than later but pretty fun so far Screaming, wow. Screaming. Another nice keeper. Almost thought about doing like a, you know, 20 minute limit or a 30 minute limit type video, but I think those are kind of dumb. But as you guys can see, it would be pretty easy today. Well, seems like they got smart already, so let's just move on to the next tree. Tons of trees, tons of trees. Oh my God, look at that one, holy mackerel. You guys like what you see? Because I sure do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. It is that time of year. Stacked like cordwood, not super, super bitey. I mean, they're pretty neutral, all things considered. I mean, you get these, come up and look at them. I'm just gonna put it right down into the school. Wait for a thump. Any thumps? Oh, got them. Nicer one. Yep. Be a very fun time for a limit of Christmas crappies. What's going on with this guy's tail? That's weird. Fun stuff, guys. That's a uh, every live scope crappie fisherman's dream screen right there. So pretty much I think what I really like to do is, you know, just get those baits down into the school and let all those fish just kind of stare at it and then I'll start pulling it away and they just usually can't stand it. Like that guy, oh, small one. But before live scope, we would just get the jigs down there and let them sit. There's another keeper. Nice one. We just let them sit and wait for the thump. Not really pull it away from them too much, but it's about as easy as it gets. Easy as it gets. So now we are kind of just chasing the school around the river channel. Like they're not necessarily on a tree or anything. That's pretty much my favorite way to catch them in the wintertime is just catch these suspended ones that are just roaming around the river channel Got him. not as big but like i said i mean oh yeah it's a nice one just about as good as it gets for eaters because we're almost halfway to a limit and i've been here for 15 minutes Got him. I don't even know how many fish you guys are gonna really see in this video because there is just an insane amount of fish on every spot <laughs> that we fish, which is an amazing problem to have. But just gonna try and put the bigger ones in there because unless we find the mega school of just giants, there are just gonna be some to weed through when you have this many fish around. It's crazy. Instant. Good one, too. That's a nice one. Yeah. Not super long, just fat. Well, I feel like this video is just going to get repetitive here before long, but I know how many of you guys have been waiting for these wintertime live scope crappie videos. So we're just going to eat it up because this is the last day we will be, anybody will be on these lakes for a hot minute. Here comes a nice one. And I got him. Come over for that top jig. 
Biggest one yet. <laughs> that is a donk. You bet. You bet. Luckiest crappies in the world. Oh my God, did that one crush it? Is that a crappie? Yeah, it is. Holy mackerel. I thought that was like a white bass or something. Whew. Got that big one and just dropped down to him. Oh yeah, that's the heaviest one yet. Just kind of been playing around with colors, put on that chartreuse kind of speckled guy. That's a dandy right there, just another, just another good one. Nice, a couple suspended ones all by themselves and of course I got the smallest one of the two or three. A couple other ones just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Yep, in the trolling motor all over the place. Gobbled it. And I think it's probably safe to say we're gonna catch uh, just a couple more and then just maybe call the video a success because yeah. <laughs> wow. You betcha. Just as easy as it gets. Are we almost going to get the sun too? Doubtful. Another nice one. Same fish over and over and over again. Best keepers anybody could ask for that we're not keeping. Plucked. Oh God. That one I didn't really notice to be that big on life scope, but that's definitely one of the bigger ones yet today. I mean, teener. A nice teener. Wow. Just so many fish. Well, I've said about three different times now and uh, caught three different fish and said, well, we're just gonna catch one more big one and then we're gonna leave. And guess what? My GoPro shit the bed on every single one of them. Absolutely amazing. So anyway, all that was to say, we're gonna catch one last big one and then leave because clearly my GoPro just cannot handle this weather. Are you gonna bite? Yep, he's gonna bite. I don't think it's the big one we want. Of course it's not. But yeah, I should probably just go ahead and end this before my GoPro dies, dies for the day here. But it's obviously been super fun and this is just the beginning of the winter crappie content. Can I just get one nice one to end it on? One more 13 incher. <laughs> They're getting a little bigger. Half an inch by half an inch. Are you guys tired of crappies? I kind of almost already am. Not really. It's fun. I need the big one to take it from him. Oh.
got him. That's her. That is the big one to end it on. So, like I said, it's been real, it's been fun. This is just the beginning. There's gonna be a lot of those from now until the end of February. So let's talk a little bit about the gear and Christmas time and go home and warm up. I'm cold. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for us today. Again, it was just good to get out and get one last rip in before the polar vortex sets in because this is all gonna freeze guaranteed by Friday, which again is unfortunate. We do deal with that even in Kansas land from time to time, but I'm looking forward to a nice little Christmas vacation off the water. This bite is only gonna get better. And as I said before, uh, this is just the beginning of the winter crappie content. So things are gonna be fun. I'm gonna try and switch it up because this stuff can get kind of repetitive sometimes, but I know how much you guys enjoy the live scope crappie stuff in the winter time. All right, so as far as the baits go, we were just rolling two eighth ounce jigs rigged up in tandem like that. You don't really need two jigs, but I like using two, especially when those fish get schooled up and get you double sometimes. No real rhyme or reason on color. I always roll one chartreuse, one pink one, but we were using, we sized down to that baby battle shed that Jeremy with Swingman Bait Co. makes. It's just a little bit smaller, sneakier profile than the big battle shed. And that's what I think we really needed to do today was kind of size down. But yeah, if you guys want to try the baby battle shed or all the other crappie baits that Jeremy makes and sells on his website, go to swingmanbaitco.com. Link is in the description and I've got a 10% discount code for you guys to save some money. Support small business. Jeremy's the man. I've always appreciated him hooking me up with everything that I need in this boat to uh, be successful. So that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoy the live scope footage. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more of it. You guys have a great Christmas if I don't see you before then and I will see you probably after the new year.